Yo, welcome to another episode of the Larry O Show. Got my co-host with me, as always. What's going on, y'all? It's John Phelps. <laughs> and I'm Larry O. And today, we have two very special guests. We normally have one guest every once in a while, but today, two Check for the out. price of one. Whoa. Uh, for the price Whoa. of one. What are you trying to say? What's some kind of cheap... <laughs> hold on now. Hold on now. <laughs> cheap thrills? You know what I'm trying to say? Hold on. I'm just going to back my camera out real quick. I'm going to back my camera. Yo. 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 <laughs> two producers, two FL Studio power users, hey. right? Ooh. Shout yeah. Skimmy, uh, Skimmy, and Young Fire. Hey, 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 hey. What up? What up? What up? <laughs> Yo, so like, Skimmy, you've been uh, an FL Power user for a while, right? And then yes. Young Fire, you just like recently, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just recently yeah. inducted me into the, <laughs> into the Hall, Hall of Fame. Of fame. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. like, yeah, it's like the FL Hall of Fame, yo, which is kind of dope. Nah, it is. It yeah, is. I really was like not. in it. I was in it for like since 2008, and then I, you know, I switched my name around, and then I was like, hey, man, we got to switch that out. We got to change it up a little bit. Yeah. I noticed that. What what yeah. prompted did the name change because before it was what infinity it was it was infinity so yeah it was just a brand overhaul man got rid of a lot of things in my life and now mm. i'm new I'm, i feel brand new yeah I unwrapped <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up and you guys obviously yeah. been using fl for a long long time like this is an fl podcast that's why we're here that's why we've been doing the podcast since the top of the year and we're gonna hop into some like fl questions plug-in questions talk about audio box which is your guys's company and brand mm -hmm. if you don't know about audio box you'll learn a lot Check in this episode out. it's really really dope for producers beat battling that you know want a little competition we talked about this a bunch you know uh -huh. in the past like competition yeah, yeah, yeah. competition uh -huh. makes nah. makes it interesting now nah, we appreciate you always showing love to us also by the way larry big love to you brother man of ever course, since man. we started man, from the beginning up until this day we appreciate you and all the people over at audio box appreciate you too man they talk about you all the time <laughs> that's what's up man you got you got a lot of homies <laughs> over there you got a lot of homies it's oh, like yeah, yeah. Man. i mean we saw yeah. larry man larry said to come Listen. hang out at audio box so that's if we, we ever see do. if we ever see you in the Nam hallways getting jumped, we got you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys yeah. going to Nam again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. yeah. That's right. We yeah. talked about it. You guys are gonna have a booth, and you guys are gonna be doing beat battles like on the spot. Yeah, yeah. 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 bro. Yeah. Yeah. You are yeah. gonna come to? Yeah. You gonna come? Yeah, yeah. John's are. gonna John's gonna oh, pop out for it. Bro. Checking this yeah. out for real, for real, baby. It's going to be intense, bro. It's going to be intense. We're going to have a really great time. We got it all. This time we had some time to actually prepare. So it's going to be competitions, prizes, in person. Larry, I would love to have you come host. I'm, I'm, is this doing on the spot? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did. You did mention no, This is the best time to do it because yeah. now he has Now it. I'm on the spot. <laughs> Let's cut this no out. Down, cut it out. No <laughs> way am I doing it. Cut that. <laughs> no, I'm no, spot Joe. <laughs> nah, bro. That would be awesome. That would be yeah. awesome. I'm looking for stuff to because I feel like this year has just flown by to the mm -hmm. point where Nam, I feel like so it's just going to come out of nowhere, even though I yeah. felt like I was just there at the last one. Yeah. Having flashbacks yeah. to yeah. Nam. <laughs> for real. Yeah, yeah it's going to yeah. be wild, though. It would um, be incredible. Yeah, I can't wait for it. I'm definitely down to do whatever with you guys. Just let me know. Um, Hell yeah. But yeah, I mean, we can hop into some like FL stuff. Like, I guess uh, start with, with Skimmy. Like, how, how long have you been using FL? I always ask these questions just to kind of get things rolling, you know? Yeah, yeah. Break the ice a little bit. Yeah. Um, I've been using it since FL3. So, I don't know. When that, 2002? Is mm -hmm. that when it, 2001? It sounds about right. Because that? that was, I was pretty much, I think, FL3. Either, th I think I was three or four. And yeah, that yeah. sounds about right. 2002, 2003-ish. Somewhere around there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yep. That was before I knew what MIDI was. I, you know, I'm I'm using like a Roland um, XP80, mm. and then which uh, I got from my brother. I found FL through whatever it was back in the day, whatever the internet was back in the day. For real, right? <laughs> um, yeah, she was insane. So, and then uh, yeah, just clicking in and trying to figure out what the hell was going on. It felt more like a game than anything to me. Yeah, and that um, funny though, like I think it started out as some sort of game, didn't it? Like if it did. Like I heard this like crazy, crazy story, and I'm you guys know Josh. I'm gonna have Josh on and like try to get to the bottom Deep of dive, it. Yo. Like there's some like weird yeah. stuff that F, like how FL started on some right. like weird like game like triple shit. X rated like really? game type of thing. No way. Yeah. yeah. Triple like X rated game, huh? Yeah. I feel like I did a little yo, deep dive. BMX triple X style. <laughs> right? I don't know if uh, were... nah, yeah, pretty well. No, I would love to hear the history of uh, FL, though. That's kind of crazy that they started out as a game. Yeah. 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 Wild. Yeah. Fire, like, how long have you been using FL? Uh, I've been the same. Uh, yeah. It's about uh, FL3. 
I actually started producing though before that on mm -hmm. an actual game. I started on uh, the music MTV Music Generator. That was oh, you know what I thought you were gonna say? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that a lot. Yeah. There's, there's, yeah, from our era, I feel like we're around the same. I age. feel like Crit started yeah. on that. Yeah, and, like that's a lot what of I heard that. about that for the first time. That's yeah. amazing, man. Bro, that, that PlayStation, that shit was incredible because you could actually create. There were there were like loops before, like it was only like loop things you could put together, mm -hmm. and then this PS One thing came along, and you could actually make melody. They had loops in it too, but you could actually make your own melodies, which wow. was like groundbreaking. Um, mm -hmm. And it was in a PS1, bro, not a computer. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. Oh, yeah. yeah. The first yeah, thing guy. I ever touched. I need a copy of that. <laughs> For real. I need a copy of that. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can get that a little. Uh, I would love to get some of them old beats. <laughs> one. <laughs> For real. Bro, you, on your memory card from back then, probably. <laughs> oh, my God. In somebody's garbage yeah, landfill real. somewhere just hanging out. Right. <laughs> bro. All those cards you had to put into the top, like you put the remote control there, and then the memory card goes, like, right above it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That was it. That was the time. Man. Mm -hmm. I'm old. <laughs> yeah, I, I just wanted to say real Memories. quick, Fire, like, I found out that you made the beat Like Yeah for Tech 9 Yes. Oh, my God. Listen, bro. man, I was telling Larry, I came in, I was like, bro, when that music video dropped, I ran that shit back, two back, <laughs> two back. Bro, the beat, yeah. the way that that starts off, right? Yeah. Like, it got that crazy sound to it. And then on top of that, how it goes, boom, 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 da -da 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 -da, mm. like crazy, dude. So oh, I just got to say, yo, kudos, brother. I've been like a fan of that beat for so long. And to Bro, to meet you wow. like in this in this sphere is amazing. So thank Man, you, you know, for real. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, bro. That's actually uh, that's my second placement, but my first. Really? That, yeah, that was Young my second Fire placement. produced. Yeah, yeah. Yo, that was yeah. crazy. What yeah. year was that? Yeah. That was off Texas. Killer. He, he what year was that? Love. Um, that was 2008. 2008. Mm. Yeah, 2008. Yeah. How yeah, did yeah. like in 2008 compared to now, like getting a placement, getting an opportunity to get a placement, how how has yeah. that changed in, you know, that that oh, amount of God. time like from 08 to now? How different um, is it? How much of it is the same? You know, I, I'm always like curious because I've never like I've never gone dramatic. into that world too much. Yeah, it's dramatically different to, uh, from 2008 than it is today in, in multiple ways. I, what I can do is tell you a little story about that because it is an interesting story how I actually got that placement. Mm -hmm. um, I was on a beat battling website back in the day called Rock Battle, and I was a really prominent beat battler on that site. This is like 2006, 2007, right out of high school, um, and on that side, I had like a lot of fans because my I was the top guy. And one dude just he actually harassed me. He said some crazy shit in my DMs. Like you get all kinds of DMs, mm -hmm. and then he <laughs> said some shit like your beats are ass, bro. I don't even know why you're number one. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, it's like who, 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 who? you know, he got a reaction, and then I saw I said, What what's the, like I I'm nice, I'm not a dick. So I'm like, mm -hmm. what's what's the problem? And he's like, nah, I just wanted to get your attention. You're wow. actually amazing. And uh, I'm from Sweden and I run a, a company called Large Money, and I know Tech 9 I think you guys would be a great fit. Wow. No kidding, man. Crazy. Just mm -hmm. like that in That's my DM. Crazy. That's you know? crazy. Actually So imagine crazy. if, like, you ignored him. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then didn't I, say anything to him, like, because he was, just, like, talking shit. Man. Yeah. I, I, or was just a dick back in general. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I love him so much to this day, and we're still in touch. He's a, he's a really, do really dope guy from Sweden. Um, wow. And over the years, he supported me. I've supported him so many times. We've been kind of like angels to each other's lives, man. Mm -hmm. So it's actually That's been turned out to be one of the best decisions I ever made in my That's life. That's crazy, right I, on, bro. I, I'd probably still be, I mean, I wouldn't be, you know, I was very determined. I was going to get out of there. But he just, the way that he spoke it to me at that time, it really let me know who I was. And he put me right into touch with people that was the right fit for my beats. Cause it's another thing that he worked with all these West Coast. His primary artists were West Coast artists, like um, low, all the, anybody on the dub c all those guys tech nine was just a guy that he knew i was in iowa and, and tech nine was in the midwest so he gotcha. was like yo i would love to connect y'all mm -hmm. um and he did it got me on the phone directly with tech nine and travis you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying um it was really crazy because getting on the phone with them was already a thing you know in our city they're huge mm -hmm. um and you know they have these huge voices mm -hmm. um and then we go into negotiating for actually before I even before I even got to, they asked me to send them some beats, and they love these two beats. Um, one of them was the like yeah beat. The other one was this one for Chris Calico, and we ended up negotiating right there on the phone, us two. Hmm. 
And, you know, as compared to now, like I have a, uh, I still manage myself actually at the time I was managing myself. So the, the negotiations are kind of similar. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> yeah. I gonna lie. It's me, but, and I never had a problem being like, Hey, look, this is my price, which you would, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, so I, you know, with them, I just told them at the time, an astronomical, num- astronomical number, I think I said like $1,500, which mm-hmm. was what the hell yeah like uh, they'll never say yes to like i'll never say yes to <laughs> yeah <laughs> and they were like nah we're not gonna do that sir we only mm-hmm. do like 500 bucks and i was like fuck that <laughs> I'm, I'm going for i'm going for a thousand i ended up settling on like a thousand yeah um which was for my life incredible yeah. um mm-hmm. you know what i mean and that all came from the dm and you know from battling and being like this guy mm-hmm. uh that was you know doing that thing and then the other cool thing about that beat in particular i'll say this too and we can mm-hmm. move on but mm-hmm. um i gotta say this for producers that hold on to special beats because that beat was so special to me i literally made that beat with lil wayne in mind and if you could mm-hmm. if you think about lil wayne in that time period mm-hmm. you would be able to hear him on it so i made it and I'm a manifestation guy. So I was like, right. yeah, dude, I'm going to make this happen, bro. This yeah. is <laughs> and I sent that in the pack to tech, just like on some humbug. Like, I mean, it definitely fits tech nine. Yeah. <laughs> kind of hope he don't pick it. Cause yep. I want to be little. <laughs> the universe, right. the Which universe is, is like, yo. Too, though. Yeah. Because yeah, like, we could hear Wayne on that. For yeah. Real. Bro, it's ridiculous in knowing how I know how life works now, because I don't work like that. I don't, I, I my point in this is that you got to give your best to everyone. And yeah. you know, I think that I learned that really, really, really early, whereas opposed to a lot of people learn it later in their career after, you know, holding on to beats and then they get old and you're like, well, damn it, I should have just sent it when it was hot to somebody. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. Um, you know, if I would have held that from Wayne, I did end up meeting and working on Wayne, but that didn't come into come into like Yeah, I did. Yeah, right, I noticed right. that too. Yeah, because yeah. like, like I know you guys, I know you guys have like placements and stuff, but I, I wanted to do a little bit more digging and just like see what you guys, you know, just mm-hmm. so I could like bring things up. And that yeah. brings me to, to to you, Skimmy. Like, the placements you have are ridiculous too, bro. Like the one that I that really like stood out to me, and I and I didn't know this one was uh, Avicii. Like, how did that? Mm. How the hell did that come about? Like, how did you get involved with that? I mean, that was just a kind of that was a crazy situation because at that time, I almost kind of had fell off of the music scene. Kind of like I was just out of working with people I, I had been doing it for so long at the time because that was like around 2014 mm-hmm. and i just got in the studio with two of my guys that i fucked with heavy and we were just like hey let's start a band together you know what i'm saying <laughs> and so we were just in the studio fucking around and we just came up with this anthem and mm-hmm. we're like shit this sounds fire for us let's let's do something for us because mm-hmm. we have been giving away so much to everybody else and shooting in the dark and doing so much shit over the you know over the course of 10 years working in the industry um, and just dealing with A&Rs and dealing with that nonsense. And so that came just by having fun in the studio and just not giving a fuck. Mm-hmm. And that that's really important because when it starts mm-hmm. to become a job is when you kind of fall out of love of making music. For real, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's true. And uh, it's tough. So at that point, we're just like, fuck it. Let's just do whatever we feel like. Let's just enjoy it and, and come up with something cool for us. Mm-hmm. And then we did it. We knocked it out. Um, and then one of the guys that actually is singing on the song that wrote it with us, sent it to like a cold email to Avicii's manager, or he said he blasted it out to a bunch of DJs managers. He happened to respond back and was like, this is amazing. We want this for Avicii. Mm -hmm. And then two, three months go by and we start working on it. We start fixing up the the song. We start fixing up the track. Um, yeah. And it became the nights for Avicii. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's wild. Yeah. So I never got to personally work with Avicii, unfortunately, but we went back and forth multiple times on email with the manager yep. trying to get shit right. Mm-hmm. Um, Nick Furlong, who actually, the legend, bro. Mm-hmm. All right, be that guy. But yeah, yeah that, yes, that, that was, but see, at that time, you know, we were like, all right, so he was, he had just come off of Don't Wake Me Up, which was like another massive mm-hmm. country record. And so we thought this was kind of like, oh shit, this could be one of those kind of, kind of records. Mm-hmm. And um, and then I think, I can, you know, it's been so long, I can't, there's such, such a blur that fucking moment in history a little blip yep. but uh yeah it came out i think t- december of that year and um it kind of it did it did okay it did decent and uh you know as as new fresh edm kind of guys for us or at least for me because i never I, I wasn't in that world i was like an r&b pop hip-hop kind of guy mm-hmm. and so that was like my first jump into edm and um 
I think we were like all wondering where is this going to land because that don't wake me up with such a big record mm -hmm. um, that I was like, how could we follow that one up? Mm -hmm. And so, um, so it did what it did. And then it kind of died down. It did decent in, in, in Europe. And then all of a sudden, like three years later, four years later, it goes crazy viral on TikTok. And <laughs> wow. then, you know, 2024 or 3 billion streams later. And I'm like, Jesus. Isn't it crazy how, how the I, world I, works like that? You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like you never know. So much. Yeah. Timing. You don't it's know. You know. Yeah. That, that's actually one of my biggest things I scream. A lot of a lot of the a lot of the time for me is spent giving people like just perspective on life and you yeah. know what to focus on in, in, in these days of my career. And one of the things that I think people really, really underestimate is timing, man. Timing is like timing is so so like if you had to put up a pie, a chart of what is important in in things that end up being good for your life. It's it's time that's so big on it. You know, it's people think it's like, oh, just oh lucky, ha ha. But it's like, bro, so <laughs> many things happen to happen at yeah. the right time. A hundred percent matter because you could have everything right, but the timing can be wrong. Yep. And right. You'll you'll you know as creators we'll blame all kinds of other things uh, <laughs> other than time you know <laughs> but but it'll just be the bad timing it might yeah not, the song might be amazing the artist yeah. might be amazing the feature the mix might be everything might be amazing it might just mm -hmm. be bad timing yeah so, and even on like a smaller level I've I've run into that stuff too like nothing like with placements and whatnot but mm -hmm. there's been times where I've had songs with with John and other artists that I've worked with over the years and. You think that, you know, th there's something not right about this song. Maybe it's not the right time for this to drop. And then it four, literally like four or five years later, we'll revisit the song and reproduce the entire song. And like, yo, it just sounds like it sounds right right now. Let's drop this. It needs to drop. And then yeah, that happened yeah. to a couple of songs that did really well, you know, mm -hmm. good numbers for us, like just dropping it, you know, yeah. and just seeing mm -hmm. what happens kind of thing. Yeah, so yeah, the, the intuition, the intuition one, I think a lot about because yeah. it kind of worked in a similar fashion where I think I just cold emailed some people that yep. wanted to put it out. Mm -hmm. And that was like mm -hmm. really, really neat. That was like really cool. It was like, oh, cool. Yep. You know, this one hits. Yep. And that one, I remember mm -hmm. writing that morning on the way to the studio, like the very first lyric exactly where I was. Yeah. And I'll remember so that, dope. you know, to this day about oh, all yeah. kinds of stuff like that. So timing is amazing to hear like. I don't know, man. That like that tech, I mean, that yeah, tech what do you record, have, what? brother. Like, oh, I don't know. I, just, I can't. And then like the way that your sound selection has stayed so fresh for so long, too. Like your sound mm -hmm. selection, and I want to like, I guess, delve into that a little bit. Like mm -hmm. when it comes to your sound design process, like what is that kind of like? Because the flow Millie stuff is crazy. The T Pain mm -hmm. stuff is crazy. The tech mm -hmm. stuff, of course, is crazy. You got Calico yeah. and Calico. Oh, speaks to the bro his yeah, harmonics his you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. leave me alone yeah. that's that one right yeah well, mm -hmm. oh my god man uh thank you man i thank you for i, I i'm a guy that lives uh, in obviously in the uh, head so i don't really ever get time to recollect and i appreciate for that, sure that. bro i mean it, i appreciate you leaving that in your in your bio for all of us to listen to yeah man it, it it's 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 been you know over the course of time, I really always have moved off of how I feel. I've never, um, and this might help a lot of people too, because I think a lot of people get put in a situation and there's a certain type of path that's kind of chosen or told as to how it's supposed to go. I I personally create what I want every day. I don't really create for people. You know, I, I create whatever it's just happens to feel, you know, and I mean, I allow myself the creative freedom to have, you know, I might go, I do go into it sometimes with an idea, and I'm just, I might make something complete. Like sometimes I'm going to make an R&B and I'll make a straight up <laughs> hard ass record because I will be inspired by whatever I will be inspired by. And I won't allow, I won't reject that. You know what I'm saying? Just because I'm trying to do something, right on. You know what I mean? And a lot of times for people, you're like, you're in a pop song and you might hear something that's so crazy while you're going through your sound selection or melodies and you playing something that's like, oh, that shit crazy, but it don't work for this. So instead of going to that, mm. you'll go finish this, right? Well, I never do that. Like whatever <laughs> inspires me, I will throw a whole track away if something inspires me right now stronger than what I'm working on. I'll move on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like say I if think, you're just like cooking up on new, something, new and you've been, yeah, like you've <laughs> yeah. been working for an yeah. hour on a beat, yeah, and then you yeah. go through and yes, you hear bro. a certain sound or a sample, you're like, all right, something's going on with this that I need to stop yeah. exactly what I'm doing right now right. and move yeah, into yeah. this and just go yeah. in on this whatever this is. I don't even know if it's gonna work out or not, but I need yeah. to just go off this like inspiration right mm -hmm. away. Yeah, because you'll lose yeah. that moment. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and I 
you got to remember it's all about feeling music is feeling and you're trying to transmute a feeling if something was strong enough to cut through whatever, you, whatever you've been working on for an hour yeah. and make you feel something really? you got to go for it. you got to go for it and i'll yeah. go for it and sometimes it don't work out too and yeah. i might go back um but most of the times it ends up working out and it ends up working out really fast mm -hmm. and that's and that's the thing that i'm really looking for is mm -hmm. the things that are right tend to fall into place really quickly because you're hearing the whole thing the way that my brain processes stuff i'll hear it and then i'll hear everything that needs to go with it and i could now it's a matter of like finding it and mm -hmm. and seeing if i can get to it in the time that my brain it still has this clear picture of it to, before it <laughs> so dissipate into these other things and then like morphs and you know so it's kind of um it's really free you know my process as as you know refined over the years obviously because i've been doing it so long to now it's like a, a mixture of creative freedom and an organization you know having yeah. You having know. things being organized um which was a huge crutch i didn't realize it you know because if you're if you're doing well you won't you won't you know restructure or do anything you'll just stay the same yeah um but you know somebody and i'm not sure who recommended reorganizing my sounds and eventually it stuck i'm sure several people did but mm -hmm. eventually I, I decided to do that and oh my god i got changed by what i did and, and this is another gem that i'll give people is um Whenever I have a song that's a, like a, a hit or people love, I will pack those sounds together. Mm. And then I'll, I'll use those as a, a foundation for moving forward, right? So there might be 10 sounds, 20 sounds in a particular beat that, you know, is a hit or somebody loves. And I will save those folders inside of a bigger folder that has like my a, a bunch of songs that are hits. And then I'll just go through those sounds versus going through my huge mm. library of sounds because all of these work. And... More importantly, they work together. You yeah. know what I mean. So, like, mm -hmm. you know, because producing is it's like painting, and and it's like textures. One texture, one snare affects one kick differently yeah. than it does another. All these mm -hmm. things are are like you it's know alchemy, it's art. Man. So you got to yeah, yeah. For real. organization yeah, is is cool. so important. I mean, I I've mm -hmm. gotten to the point now where my list of sounds and samples is just like I know where everything is. If mm -hmm. it's organized like to your standards, like that's good. And now, especially mm -hmm. with FL and how they, uh, how they, you're able to star things, favorite things in the browser, and mm -hmm. you can just now search anything. Really, you can yeah. just literally search any keywords, and things just start to pop up for you, no matter what's yeah, in there. Need that doesn't need, and yeah. not even about the cloud, just the browser in general. If you just like just start typing away yeah they've got so much better that that yeah. browser got so much better and then on top you i i like i love this cloud thing too cloud me too cloud. man we That's we really talk cool. about it all the time like we've used it yeah. on the pod before I, it's mm -hmm. in my almost everyday workflow now i didn't think yeah. it was gonna be to be perfectly honest but mm -hmm. it really is like it's yeah. if i want a specific thing i just i'll search it or mm -hmm. and then the the biggest thing for me the biggest thing for me in the cloud i'll ask you like what you're favorite thing is about it or in mm -hmm. general but my favorite thing is the fact that like if i'm looking for something that just the beats just missing like maybe one or two things it sounds like but it's it's got to be very subtle and i just uh, i'm stuck maybe right i'll go in mm -hmm. and i'll put the key in that i'm working on in the cloud i'll set it to that key so anything that is is mm -hmm. going to pop up in that menu is now going to be in that key and it's already tempo matched so as soon as you hit play it just starts playing in like on the next downbeat. It just starts playing right away in the same key and the same yeah. tempo. So that helps me like it just sounds like almost everything can go with what I'm working on. And then from there I can just pull something in, tweak it, chop it, mm -hmm. maybe warp it a little bit, EQ mm -hmm. it to make it really fit. Mm -hmm. And in like I feel like in two seconds I have something that now fits that's I would have never found if it wasn't like for the FL Cloud probably. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I really love that. I, that's that, that's about the same workflow. If I'm going to use it, I'll use it like that too. Um, one thing that also, I I really love the fact that they've, the way that they've put it together, the system, like how easy it is, because it could also be clunky, but it's not. You know yeah. what I mean? It's easy to super drag and drop shit really easily. And you don't have yeah. to like think about too much and you can audition stuff. I tell people this too a lot Um, when it comes to, like a drum or a groove a pattern or whatever um if you have a good strong drum pattern or melody um set bo both way both ways it will work with so many different things like if you have a really good catchy melody you can almost put a million different types of drum patterns mm -hmm. under there you could put a trap melody under there. you could put a pop mm -hmm. you'll find like if you really get those really strong melodies this is why the strong songs can be remixed so many different ways yeah. because 
the songs are so they're founded on things that work universally between yeah. different they just have that the certain vibe structure. to them no matter what yeah chord structure right. or groove or the groove you know yep. one of the one mm-hmm. one of those or melody you know those things those three things are very important if you lock those in so you know I, I, when you're making songs i always challenge to find the most perfect fit from those and those things those are the real challenge the real challenge is finding the right fit because you can have great drums horrible melody mm-hmm. great melody horrible drums Thanks. either way the marriage is the is, is the thing that happens and all these placements that you guys are hearing and you might be wondering like i know a lot of times people hear these placement beats and they're like bro this shit ain't nothing <laughs> <laughs> like, i'm gonna say the, i'm gonna say the quiet part out loud like <laughs> I know every yeah. producer has heard, especially in the last five years, a beat on that these projects, and you like, man, I could have made that with my literal one arm, <laughs> one yeah. arm, my one eye. Yeah. Right? <laughs> You're not understanding what's happening. Well, a lot of the time, because producers are not artists, they don't understand what they're looking for in a beat, and a lot of times, what they're looking for is perfect, like the perfect groove. It don't mess up. It don't make me lose my thing. It don't make me lose my mojo at no point. Mm-hmm. I know you guys want to be fancy and shit, but I got to right. keep my flow. I got to keep my flow. Right, going. Right, right. Yeah. And if that hi hat is doing too much, yeah. Or if, if that sound is too sharp in my ear and like it's taking me out of my zone, because again, it's a when I'm when you're writing, you're nothing can distract you from your zone. Right. That's why that's why the studio is so sacred. People, you keep the door closed. There used to be lights on the outside. Tell people don't come in. Because it's really, it's, you said the word earlier, alchemy. It's really that you're literally trying to culminate the 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 grace of whatever is creating all these things mm-hmm. to come down on your head, and you don't need somebody coming in yelling or somebody with a weird opinion or bad right. energy or a mm-hmm. really weird beat that changes at a time that I don't want it to change yeah. or does something <laughs> I don't want it to do. You know, like yeah. I hate it. So a lot of the times, simple beats win because they just do enough for the artist to get their thing yeah. off. And then, yeah, and there's you know, a time and a place for the ones that go mm-hmm. that are all over the place, and mm-hmm. like, absolutely, you know, there's a time and a place yeah, for yeah. it. And I made a whole career out of it. Yeah, you know, I, yeah. like I, mm-hmm. I, 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 I'm the guy that fights the system. You yep. know what I'm saying? And still mm-hmm. managing to find success. I, I'm really proud of that because I understand exactly how it is that it goes. But I just don't want to do that. Like, yep. this, yeah, this is this is that's what I want to do. And that, mm-hmm. yeah, that's that's a good segue into like what you guys do. Like on a daily basis now with Audio Box, uh, but by the way, before we get into that, I wanted to um, because we're about I don't know, Skimmy, you got like fifteen minutes left, right? So let's yeah, um, I mean, so I don't you know. Could if obviously, continue after I leave as oh, well. So yeah, but yeah. well, you know, we'll try to keep it. We try to keep it around yeah. that time, anyways. So we'll gotcha, we'll be good. Gotcha. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar, uh, but we do a giveaway every week, every episode, where I give oh, away. Yeah. Uh, every one of my FL Studio courses to five people in the comments that comment the key word or the key phrase. So mm-hmm. I think this word, this week's key phrase can be audio box. Um, oh, you can spell it uh, with an E-O or an I-O. However you spell it, we know. But the right way to spell it for you guys is um, A-U-D-E-O box. So yeah. audio box with an E instead of an I. Comment that down in the comment section. Five people will be entered to win every single one of my FL Studio courses. And since you guys put me on the spot earlier, I'll put you on the spot and ask you if you want to give anything away as well. <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah. why not? Why not? Let's give away a membership to the site, bro. I would love to give away All right. a, um, a membership to however many people you're giving it away. So to we do five that. winners every week. You yeah, want to do five? Do All right, look let's at it. Live yeah. on the spot. Five winners yeah. will be also be getting a membership to audiobox.com. So now that we're talking about Audiobox, people that aren't familiar with it, and like mm-hmm. I said, it's a good segue where we said there's a time and a place for those types of beats where that they're all over the place, right? And you show your skills. Yeah. Show what yeah, you yeah. got. Show like yeah. be the artist, right? Yeah. Like be yeah. like show your talents. I think yeah. Audiobox is a great like representation for that style of music. Uh, mm-hmm. um, I tell them what it's about, really, because I, I could go on, but I think you guys could definitely like you know, get yeah, that point yeah. across better than me. No, no, I appreciate it, Larry. Um, well, for me as a producer, the reason why I started uh, this site back up again is, or this 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 field back up again, because I think you know it's been there, the D battles, but it's kind of mm-hmm. just lying and not evolving, right? Um, 
is like I said, career, the music career is, is it's like it's annoying, you know, like when it becomes a job and you're creating for artists and it's so much politics getting involved and the love for the art is dissipating. Mm -hmm. What I what I wanted to do was find a way to love this shit the same way that I do and came into this game into this game. And that's, you know, through beat battles. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and I think one of the things that stopped me f from beat battling was revenue. Right. So what our goal to, is for people to be able to create a career out of beat battling. Right. So when the progression of a producer is, you know, you might start out as an artist or maybe you just start out as a producer and then you get professional and you start trying to like, okay, what do I want to do now? What can I do with it? Am I going to sell beats to independent artists or am I going to get these placements? Blah, blah, blah. Right. I would like to prefer like a third option competitive production right mm -hmm. so the goal is for people to be coming here and you know we have tournaments we have prizes we have sponsor prizes um our goal is to get it to where people can compete every day mm -hmm. and make money off of battling make money off of selling their own beats because we have a beat store as well so being able to sell your beats being able to battle your beats um and being able to win prizes and cash and things um and as we grow i see our growth being something like the the, the esports industry where it's like you know people used to play games and you know just for fun nobody was making money we was mm -hmm. just playing games right um and people would be laughable they would think it's laughable because it just wasn't a thing like you didn't make up money and now we have <laughs> full-time streamers people watching people playing games mm -hmm. um and over, over over at audio box people watch people produce yeah, you know it, it's, it's the same activity you know it's the same thing and i think that you know we just happen to be way way ahead of our time in in understanding that what this can provide for producers and with the way that the industry is moving i think that a lot of producers would benefit from being able to do something else creatively also one of the biggest things is creativity bro mm -hmm. right. you know it's like just making the same beat over and over all day i know these trap guys are tired <laughs> yeah. i know you're tired bro it's mm -hmm. cool. yeah it's cool. You could be tired. Yep, you can yeah. make a hip hop beat and you can make a, a pop beat. And yeah. guess what? You could even try a dubstep beat. <laughs> you could even try that. Even mm. as a trap producer, you know you could try that. Yeah. You know, it's like this place gives you a place to actually do that. Because where else are you going to do that in your career? If mm -hmm. you want to try dubstep, what's it going to do? Sit on your computer? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And like I said, um, we've had this conversation too. Like, that's the, cool, man. I really, really like that idea. Yep. Mm -hmm. The competition yeah. side of things. Like, yeah. Competition brings out the best in a, in a lot of people in uh, in uh, like everything in the world in any kind of niche not just music i mean right. you look at different companies like mm -hmm. i think we actually talked about the same exact thing a while back fire like mm -hmm. like about wrestling like i made oh, that, yeah. I, I made that like <laughs> comparison Hell yeah. what was like the best times in wrestling was the attitude era why were they the best times because they had wcw on their ass and competition yeah, right. every single Facts. week, Facts. Yeah. Facts. beating them in beating them in the ratings, not beating them in the ratings. You mm -hmm. look back and the most iconic time of wrestling, and it was those times. Why? Because of the competition. For real, it right. started to fall off when Vince bought WCW, and there was no more competition. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I could even say, I mean, in music is so is so evident. in sports is so evident, which is another. I know, thing I like, like I mean, everybody, too. yeah. Michael Jordan, like people, you you're you're pushed by people that are surrounding you. You know, mm -hmm. that's one of the reasons why I got out of Iowa. And shout out to Big Left to Des Moines, Iowa, but I had to get out of there because I felt like I was the biggest thing there and mm -hmm. it, there was no room for me to grow. Mm -hmm. So how could I get any better? Yeah. When you're battling online, you're battling against, we have over 10,000 producers all over the world. Yeah. So it's like, you, you might be the best in your city, but you're definitely not the best in the world. So there, <laughs> there's there's ways to grow. You yeah. know, there's, 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 which for me is so important, not getting stagnant, not getting bored with this stuff, especially with everything that there is to be distracted by today. It's like, let's hang out with some homies that's also into producing because the whole community is obviously producers. We're kind. We're not a bunch of trolls, which is my favorite thing about our community. Everybody's collaborative and wants to help. Oh, yep. mm -hmm. you know, they're, not, they're not haters. Yep. They're not. Mm -hmm. There's obviously a little bit of roasting goes on because if you got that trash, we do. But that goes yeah. that goes along that, with yeah. it, though. That goes yeah. along with the territory. <laughs> that goes along Absolutely. with competition. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. it's gonna be that. a little trash talk. It's yeah. gotta be a little taunting. You know what I mean? All that, yep. but but it's mostly love because the goal is for all of us producers to get better and keep the community alive. You know, the community of producers has gotten really disbanded, mm -hmm. and, and one of our big goals. And I think a lot of the tech companies aren't able to even do this. Really bring their producers together and mm -hmm. talk 
and yeah. collaborate and not hate on each other and not nitpick like let's actually try to move this stuff forward let's actually try to get these artists on some of these crazy beats right mm -hmm. because we are the source of all these things this is how these songs starts if you don't get to play them anything crazy they never get to do nothing crazy right. like mm -hmm. getting in with flo millie was amazing for me because she's an artist that believes in creativity you know so i could i could make a beat like the beat that we did for um um what is this um god damn it. bedtime her favorite beat bedtime is a beat that i'd had for i don't know at least three years chilling audio box sample by the way shout out to my dog mm -hmm. bo um i've been sitting on it forever and i would never play this beat for anybody because who the hell am i going to play this beat for? <laughs> <laughs> like this beat is reminiscent of like a timberland missy era yeah and none of, and none of these people could really do that so it's just sitting and you know i, I we had this session um actually skimmy you was there yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah. Yeah. Skimmy, shout out to my dog skimmy because we, yeah. we are we are my, we are we are brothers keepers we'll do whatever for each other so <laughs> nice. i gotta be an engineer if he gotta be an engineer whatever we yep. Yep. yeah yeah uh, i don't, I don't even care as long as i'm having fun with my people bro yeah that's really what it is at the end of the day happens. He, he came through an engineer for us at, a, at one of the homie studios nelly i think my boy nelly let us use his studio and and shout out to flo for being a cool person she just pulled up and we had a vibe and she's like you know i want to do something you know different and she had just uh went through some some stuff with some some person and i can't talk about that because that's her business but she was like you know what i need something aggressive man i need to, i'm ready to so i played this beat and you know it was just happened to be the right time right beat and yeah. it was so creative and it's it's literally a battle beat it's the kind of beat that i would make to battle somebody yep. with Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not the beat that you make. It's, it's a beat that I, is aggressive. It's, yeah, right. it's a beat that you make to keep your creativity muscle and make sure you know. Sometimes you make a beat to make sure I still got it. Like, yeah, I, do I, am I still out here? <laughs> yeah. Or am I, yeah, yeah, you yep. know what I mean. And, and those real. beats really they have a they have a place on Audio Box. So if you're making crazy stuff and everybody says your stuff is too crazy for the artists and it's too wild over there, you'll get some love. You'll get mm -hmm. some feedback, and mm -hmm. and I'll be able to help you use that to harness it into placements if that's what you want you know and if you want to make placements still that's i'm not gonna say that i hate on a placement because that's still a part of my journey so you know it's about and i think like like you just like that. you just explained i think it helps that side of things too because it helps you get creative in ways that you might not have and it helps you know sharpen your tools in a mm -hmm. sense of like you're in a session you can pivot a certain way that you need to in that session because you have those skills of making different styles and different genres and different, you know, like just going yeah. in on those styles of like battle beats. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Like, I feel like it really Woo. sharpens your tools. Like I can make a, a million comparisons in different aspects the same way, but like, I think the battle just has so many benefits mm, to yeah. being a yeah. producer. For sure. It's wow. an outlet for sure. Cause it, yep. it's a, it's fulfilling a need. There's a, a producer out there that wants this kind of a resource, hundred yeah. percent, man. I heard some of the stuff on the stream, and it's like, they, they, it'd be the video that I saw, Skimmy. You were like, um, you're fourteen, and then the <laughs> cuts into this hard ass beat. I was like, yo, because yeah. oh, yeah. some kids yeah. are like going for it like that. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I love that because there's there's these kids even in the EDM genre where you know it's just like at another level of production when you go into that EDM world where like <laughs> yeah, there's like these real. 12, 13, 14 year olds that sound like they've been producing for like 20 years, yeah. and there's just no outlet for them. They don't really know what the deal is why uploading their shit on DSPs and getting their stuff and being a DJ in the world like. They're just sitting in the room, they're playing video games, and they're having fun making beats, and they're going back and forth with each other as producers. So it's like, this is your outlet. Mm -hmm. This is where you need to be, For sure. where you shine the most. That's why I love it, man. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I've been, you know, I love what you guys do. I really do. I, I love it. Oh, uh, I think it's great for the community. It's it's amazing. I love it, bro. Thank um, you so much. Buddy. But yeah, yeah so yeah. I guess, because uh, Skimmy's got to get out of here, we're, you know, getting close to that time. So mm -hmm. we did the keyword, key phrase uh, again. Five winners from this week's episode are going to get every single one of my FL courses and a membership to audiobox.com. You got yeah. it. Yeah. I, again, sure, like, yeah. yo, thank you guys so much for hopping on. This has been a long, Huge. long time in, in the works. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Glad sure. we got it Very done. nice to meet y'all. Appreciate gotta, you. Yeah, we got to do it again. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that's going to do it. If you haven't already, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And as always, make sure to share this with a friend if you, you get, get me. me. <laughs> you get me. You get me. <laughs> <laughs>